Hello everyone, uh, let's make a Linux Gamecast Weekly episode 354 with DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to be doing this after the fact because I don't really have time on Sundays to slow down and do this. Uh, this is going to be using Fedora 30, uh, DaVinci 15 dot, whatever it's at currently, uh, with an NVIDIA 2060, 32 gigs of RAM, Threadripper 1920. It's just our render box, so... This is going to walk through what I do. Maybe this will be informative. Maybe not. Maybe it'll just satisfy some um, basic curiosity. How about that? I'm a huge fan of that. So we have here our media pool, which this is just um, the bumpers for segments, chair acquisition, news, hate mail. There's our hell elks, uh, five dudes, closing thing, the spinny thing that, you just have to put on YouTube because of reasons, man. Then free software song, which is part of our intro. And we have our main video segments. We have the hate mail, steam news and chair acquisition, followed by the corresponding audio, which is recorded separately and processed. So it's kind of step one is we have to get the audio and video together. Relatively easy. This is something you can do in like Kadian Live, I do believe, but it's as simple as just highlighting your video, mixing it with Steam output. We can right click and we can sync based on waveform. And the first thing we're going to be doing is the little black and white intro clip that I do. If I find something entertaining, mildly entertaining with us, Kind of put it like right at the beginning and, you know, have a little clip. Then we go to the spinny logo. Then we go to me going, and welcome back and all that fun thing. So that's together. And you just kind of have to trust that it did what it did. But it should have aligned the existing audio with the processed audio. So we'll just drag it down to the timeline. And it looks like everything's together. Well, the first thing I do is I disable this. This will, like when you do a cut, it'll hard slide everything back over to the left, which can be annoying. So I think I'm doing this, you know, this is like take two. Let me bring the audio up just a bit. Yeah. Okay. So let's zoom in. Yeah, Alt F4. So let's bring this. We can see, you know, this is 2.0 stereo audio. Let's take a look. All right. So these clips are linked right now. I will need to unlink them because the way. OBS records and streams and all that fun business. I have to uh, do a little bit of audio offset by uh, about 10. So I need to remove the magnet. There we go. And that will, for the most part, sync the audio with the video. It's going to salt the taste. Yours might be perfect to begin with. Uh, come, 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 coming up next, if you want. Uh, come, come, come. All right. So. Uh, come, come. Now, let's just go ahead and we'll link these back together. Remagnet and get our trim tool. Chop it. And we'll get rid of that. Now, let's take this back to the beginning. It's probably a hot key for the, I'm still learning DaVinci, but this is this is no means a um this is how you do it. Not at all. So there we go. And we'll trim that one more time. There we go. Now we have our Come, come, coming up next. If you want to see what will happen if Ven tries to install ah, a mechanical keyboard into Alt a Jedi, you, you, you know. <laughs> it is one thing we do need to change is the bottom right hand corner for your timeline. You can see the defaults to this. I know I could probably change it. 
I'll probably do that later, but I need to put that in 1080p. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's a show title. Boom. We have that. Now we do want to make it, um, maybe not cinematic, but we want to make it black and white. And that's easy enough. Um, down here at the bottom, you have your edit, fusion, color, audio, and basic just processing. But with this, we're just going to take saturation down to not. And... <laughs> Come, come, coming up next, if you want to see what will happen if Ven tries to install a mechanical keyboard into Alt a Jedi, you, you, you All right. <laughs> Good enough. Good enough for government work. What do we have? We need to put our spitty thing in. So people will know we're a real YouTube channel that no one ever watches. Um, then we have free software song. Want to have that there, which is going to be loud. So, <laughs> all right, so let me take off the magnet, and we want that to come in about right there, about right there, let me cut the volume down so I don't bleed your ears out, um, you can see my mixer over here, that's a bit hot. Uh, that's a little lot. And so, let's bring your gain down. <laughs> that's a show title. Maybe up just a little bit. All right. That's good. We can work with that. Okay. So... Now we'll take our main steam and zoom in. Look at me. I'm talking. Um, let's trim this clip and then I'm going to remove the link. And magnet. I'm going to do that 10 off cent. Link the clips back together. And welcome back to Linux Game Cast. We were so close the latest. Okay, we're getting there. I'm going to bring that in just a bit more. Then we have a gang of video transitions if you want to play with these. Um, I could do a fade. Fade simple as that. Like... And welcome back to Linux Gamecast. We were so the latest. We could do that. But, let's be fancy. Let's do a blur. And welcome back to Linux Gamecast. We were so it's magic. Now we do have to edit our audio. So I'm coming in about right here. So we need to add a keyframe. Keyframe here. So let's take that and stretch it out a little bit so it's not quite so hard. Let's see what this sounds like. And welcome back to Linux Gamecast. We are so here's the latest Linux Game user. All right. Then a little harder, a little quicker, right? And welcome back to Linux Gamecast. We are so covers the latest Linux gaming news reviews and news, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with this week. D nine VK is all right. That's good. So <laughs> wait till Pedro gets done talking, and I'll pop in a. Keyframe here, keyframe here, and we'll just take that and down to not. And we'll get slicey dicey. There. All right. Now we have a 
gradual fade with the audio. There's really not much of a profit to be made there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm Old Man Ven, joined every week by our team Canadian podcaster. You know him, you love him, Mr. Blink Wall himself. Uh, Isn't that right, Mr. Blink Wall? So that, that gets our intro done. We have Jordan laughing, coming in with the audio. Then we have spinny intro with the main audio, which has been brought down to something reasonable. Blurry transitions and audio dropping down on the curve with aligned audio and video. It's brilliant. So let's kick over, and that is Shift Z, which will take you to a full size view. And then I'm just going to cut the ends off. That's our transition, so let's pull the blade tool. And there. Now it's peanut butter bumper time. We're going to be going into the news. These are just um, some pre renders I did years ago in Blender. And I have the audio built into them, it's formalized. So let me into our magnet. I'm going to be about right there. And one thing with DaVinci is, it took me a while to, while you can manually add audio and video tracks, it does a good job of figuring it out itself. You just drag it into the timeline. So we're going to that. I'll just want to add a fade to it. Mm, that's that. Let's go into the news. It's pretty much a cakewalk from this point out. It really is. After that is over. And I'll just be doing the... Good enough for government work. Alignment there. And... There's Pedro. We'll do trim. And just bring that in, scooch it with a little fade. Well, it's certainly been a while, but uh, NVIDIA is finally released. Done. It's pretty much the win hit control Z again. We'll roll that back. Moving around in the timeline in DaVinci, having hardware acceleration for the timeline. It's magical. It is, I, I love KDN Live. I'm a big fan. I think it's an awesome project, but. Ah. It, this made me feel productive again. I mean, we generally have went from like on the thread ripper, 12 core. 24 threads at 3.7 gigahertz. Hour and 50 minutes, hour and 48 minutes to 12. Being able to offload timeline and especially rendering to the GPU using NV Compute. So now we need the chairs. And... What I'm what you see me doing here is I'm tapping the end key to get rid of the magnet so it doesn't have the uh wants to stick everywhere. And we'll get that together, slide it in. Done and done. Let's get some chairs. Let's move the link clip. Also I'm doing this on a Thursday, the Kind of early in the morning. A little bit excited because Quake 2 RTX comes out. It will be the second time I will be able to use the uh, RTX cores in my little video editing card. Which can still technically play video games. Alright. <laughs> Share QA's 
Welcome back to... There it is. All right. Did I link this clip? Oh, oops. All right. Clicky button and link. So when I cut, there we go. But if you've used any nonlinear video editor, this there's really nothing to it. I mean, if you're familiar with KDN Live, OpenShot, anything like that, you'll pick it up very quickly if you want to. And I'm this is the free version. This is uh, Light, which the only gotcha with this is. Out of the box, it doesn't work with MPEG Layer 4 files, so you have to convert everything out to, as you can see, we don't have Fusion, I can just bring it up in color, the DNXHRHQ. There's a script to do that. I wrote one for FFmpeg. It's on Linux Gamecast, and it's on the install DaVinci Resolve 16 in um, Ubuntu video. If you want it, I will eventually quit being cheap and buy the 299 dongle because I want to support black magic for supporting Linux. Now, admittedly, this is one of the reasons I'm running Fedora 30 because on Ubuntu 18.04, while you can get this up and running, it's a little spite crashy. This is guaranteed to run um, from black magic on Scent or Rel. I think more to the point. I think it is based on scent. That that's what the requirement is. Anyway, Fedora's naturally um, lined up a little bit better with that, and that's why I'm doing this because it, it, it's stable. I don't have to worry about it. We're done with the shares, so we just got to put a bow on it, and we're out of here. Probably getting bored watching me do the same thing over and over at this point. Let's see. We have hate mail, and the same thing that we normally do. Well, I'm. What am I doing? I don't need to unlink those clips. I need to take off the magnet. Scooch this in. We do a transition fade. We're good with that. Then we'll drop some hate mail logic. This is where I unlink the clips. And you notice I'm zooming in. That, that gives me more to work with when I'm adjusting you know, units more granular. So an eight, nine, ten. So it's going up by single digit. All right. Okay. And oh, hang on. Want to link these back up? You don't have to do this. It just makes. I guarantees that the cut is going to be. In one shot, like that. All right. And there we go. And now that we've gone four for four. Over four the for four, four, Pedro. With four games it's terrifying. Four different All right. Let's get out of here. We'll put a bow on it. <laughs> All right, so this is we're gonna get a five dudes, but we need to fade in our lovely, lovely, horrifying faces like that. Check comes from <laughs> Dying to Fire, everyone. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Frank's cash and checks his body can't cash. Oh shit, son. <laughs> then let's mm, maybe right here. Shit, son. <laughs> Five dudes. Herps. Uh you can see that the five dudes is showing 2.0, but we're only getting in left audio channel so i need to change that audio track to mono 
then we'll clean that up. Oh shit! Son. <laughs> Five dudes. A little bit loud. I'll take that down. Six to <laughs> Five dudes. Good. And I almost forgot the elks. All right, let's see. Cast Weed the Show covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how to's, and most importantly, whatever the hell. Boom. Can't forget the elks. Um. Too small. Whatever the hell else we the hell else we come up with. That's it. Wait, that's not it. There we go. Shift to Z. <laughs> Opens the gate to, gates to heaven right there, man. That was kind of hot. Whatever the hell else we come up with. Boom. That's it. I mean, there's a bunch of stuff we can play with, which I'm not because I'm not responsible enough. I've had a lot of fun time. A lot of fun time Englishing there. Um, playing around with some of the open effects stuff and just... There's a bunch of crazy stuff you can get into with um, Fusion. Fairlight is, I mean, the color stuff's great. Um, it's got auto grading, like if you wanted to fix color, our color's balanced. Um, at least I believe it is, so I don't mess with that. But I mean, it even has an auto function down here if you wanted to do like auto balancing. You know, it would let you know if I tap that saying, hey, this particular clip's auto balanced, which you would see in edit you can see bypass your color and uh, it tries it's it's not the most brilliant one way or the other um that's pretty much it uh what would i do fairlight it's thing i don't know how it works so i don't really mess around with it but um Maybe if you do, leave a comment. Be like, hey, you should be using this instead of auto or recording all the tracks. So, at the end, this is what I'm going to be delivering is YouTube and Wave. So, I have a just a scratch NVMe drive that I save everything to. And... I just do it on custom, and I would be like, uh, let's see, LGC web, we're going to be doing um, QuickTime and MPEG network optimized, and do I have this set to 30? Yeah, I do, so... Let's make sure that is together. And but you get the idea. That's uh once all that's set, you can do your qualities. Uh that's fine, nineteen twenty by ten eighty. Unless you want to go to like UHD advanced, that's above my pay grade, subtitle. Once you have that together, let's see, you can, I also do a wave. You can just do audio only. And it supports wave, PCM, 32-bit depth. That's what we record the audio at. And that'll just give you a um, regular wave file. And it doesn't have presets for 1080p, VMO, generic, Final Cut, or anything like that. And, you know, once that's together, you just, 
drop it over in your queue and tap that render button, fam. And that's pretty much it. Uh, and it took about 20 minutes. Hopefully it was educational. I doubt it was. I was like, oh, that's how you do the thing. It's not that much different than how we were doing the thing in OpenShot or in Cadian Live or anything to that effect. Um, Nonlinear video editors are basically nonlinear video editors. Then, unless you're talking about Blender, Blender's just drugs. We'll just say that. Cool. Uh, I'll probably have some more on this once I break down and pick up the uh, retail version because there's a couple of them. I mean, it's like it's effects, it's like nothing functional. Like functionally, we're good, and. Uh, We'll put that together. Oh my god, it's horrifying. Yep, that's terrifying. Jordan, Jordan, Jordan with speed. Okay, I'm out. I'm going to go uh, play some Quake 2 RTX. Yay.